Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna solve problem 73 of chapter 5. The bent rod is supported at A, B and C by smooth journal bearings. So the problem is giving me the type of supports, but also I can look at the problem and identify the supports. Determine the components of reaction at the bearings if the rod is subjected to the force 800 Newton. So for this force I have the magnitude 800 Newton and I have the angles so I can find the force in Cartesian form. The bearings in proper alignment and exert only force reaction on the rod. So that's an important statement that the problem is providing. Journal bearings are typically exerting both force and moment reaction. But because they are in alignment, they only apply force reaction. So the first step to any equilibrium problem is to draw the free body diagram. So I'm going to draw the free body diagram for this rod. I have here, I have reactions at A, I have reactions at B, I have reaction at C, and I have this reaction here, I'm going to call it point D, where I have force F, 800 Newton. So let's just start with the reactions at A. So at A, the rod can move along Y, so there, there's not going to be any reaction in y but we are going to have reaction in z and x direction so i'm going to have az and also i'm going to have ax you can see that i have used positive uh, direction because i don't know the the actual direction at the end if i find a negative value that means that the direction that i assumed is incorrect for b the rod can move along x can move in this direction but it's restricted in any other directions so we do not have any reaction in x but we have reaction in y and z so we have bz and by and for c it can move along z it can move along this direction but it cannot have any motion in the other two directions so i have cx as well as cy I'm going to write all my forces in a Cartesian form. I have six unknowns, so I need six equations. I need to write summation of forces equals zero and also summation of moments. Let's just start with force F. The magnitude is 800. I have the angle, so I can decompose it into its component. Cosine 60, cosine 30 will give me the I component. So if this is 800, the shadow on the xy plane would be 800 cosine 60 and then that would be a 2d problem the x component would be 800 cosine 60 cosine 30 and i will have for the y axis sine 30j and for the axis would be negative sine 60 k and if i simplify that my force f would be 346.41 i plus 200 j minus 692.82 k and the unit is neat so that's for my force f forces at A, I don't know the magnitude, but I know the direction, AXI plus AZK. For FB, I have BYJ plus BZK. And last but not least, my force FC, I have a component in X and a component in why now that i have all my forces in cartesian form i can write summation of forces in x y and z so summation of forces in x equals zero what x component do i have if i go back i see my force i have an x component fa i have an x component b doesn't have any 
x component but for c half so i have three components so i can write my three components here 346 41 plus ax plus cx equals zero the next equation would be summation of forces in y would be zero therefore let's see what components do we have in y my force has a component that would be 200 force a doesn't have any component in y but i have by and also cy so again i have three components so 200 plus by plus cy equals zero and that in the direction i have three components as well negative c 692.82 plus az plus bz equal zero so i have here six unknowns and three equations so i can't really solve it i need to go and write my moment equation so i can get more equation summation of moment i can take summation of moment about any point but looking at the problem, I have to select a point that get rid of some of the loads. I'm going to write summation of moment about point A, which means that because we are dealing with 3D, I need to use R cross F definition. So I need a position vector from R to B. So I need R A B position vector. I need a position vector to C. or AC and I need a position vector to D or A D so summation of about A I have three forces these three forces are gonna uh, create a moment about point A so I have three R cross F R cross F R cross F and R process the first one is my force that I know the values and the components is acting at point D so my position vector would be AD then the next one would be my force B so the position vector AB and the last one is force C so RAC I have all the forces in Cartesian form I need to find the position vector first so I'm going to have position vector RAD is simply 2i RAB negative i plus 2j and the unit here are in meters RAC negative 1.75i plus 2j plus 2k meter now I can write my R cross F the cross product to find my equations I have three R cross F so I have uh, three determinant so the first row is IJK in a cross product the second row would be the position vector and the third row would be fourth so the order matters R cross F is not the same as F cross R so R uh, I'm gonna start with my uh, first one R AD which would be 2J and we are going here I think yes R A D is 2j here that would be 0 2 0 uh, the second would be negative 1 2 0 and then the third position vector R A C would be negative 1.75 2 and 2 and then my fourth, 
the x component 346.41 200 and negative 692.82 then i have for b it doesn't have any x component but it has b y and b z here c x and c y z so each each of these are going to give me a vector i'm going to add them together to find an overall vector and then because it's equal zero which means that the i component j component and k component has to be zero but after doing the cross product i will get 1385.6 i minus 692k that would be the result of this cross product the second cross product 2bzi plus bzj minus b y k so you can see we have b z both in i and j component and then the last one would be negative 2 c y i plus 2 c x j and i'm gonna write the k component here negative 1.75 c y minus 2 c x equals zero so for this vector to be zero, the summation of the i components should be zero, the summation of j components should be zero and k. That's how I get my uh, equation. So if the component in i would be zero, or I can think of it as mx would be zero, in i, I have this component. Then I have 2bz here, I have negative 2cy over there. So I'm gonna just write my components here. So that's my fourth equation. I got three equations from equilibrium forces. I get three equations for the moment. So I write the y components. Negative 692 minus by minus 1.75 cy minus 2cx equal 0. So I got three additional equations. So six equations and six unknowns, I can find all my unknowns. So six equations and six unknowns. It's very difficult to solve six equations and six unknowns simultaneously by a replacement technique. So it's good to use the matrix multiplication. You then a coefficient matrix known and unknown matrices. I have a separate video uh, for that to show you how to solve six equations and six unknowns using a software like MATLAB. So the answer would be CX 55.2 Newton and CY would be Newton AX negative 401.6 newton you can see some of the values are negative so a negative means that the direction that we assumed in the free body diagram is incorrect so when you get a negative value you do not need to go back to free body diagram and then fix that just leave it as it is the negative sign tells it all it tells the direction is the opposite of what is shown in the uh, free body diagram so we have six equations six unknowns we solved uh, for our unknowns.